Good morning. And welcome to another smoky, hazy Winnipeg. I know it doesn't look like it from your perspective. It looks like the sun is shining brightly, but uh, it's a very hazy sun out there. Now, we're going to be doing something a little bit different here in that this morning I de decided that I am not going to be pressing record very much. I just want to go ahead and try and get the rest of these railings down. Maybe I'll do it when I, maybe I'll press record when I do one of these uh, ladders. But we did enough of the, we did enough uh, railings yesterday. And uh, I, I just want to try and get ahead a, a little bit in this build. It's going pretty slow. <laughs> One of the viewers said that it kind of reminded them of the song, The Ant and the Rubber Tree Plant. <laughs> yeah, the ant just kept going and going and going. And finally, it, it gnawed through that rubber tree and brought it down. Uh, well, that's kind of the way my build is going. It's just, I'm going at it so slow here. I'd like to kind of, you know, get near the end, get get to doing the, the main turrets, you know, and stuff like that. And, and then I think the last thing we do in the, in the manual, where's the manual here? Okay, I haven't lost it. I think the last thing we do is the aircraft. And when we get to the aircraft, uh, after that, basically, there'll be just stringing a little bit of easy line. And this is my plan for the easy line. I'm not going to do it, uh, you know, uh, exactly the way, you know, every, in other words, every wire that was on the, on the real thing in 1943, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do enough to give it, uh, like, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of monitor you're watching this on, but if you're watching, uh, uh, you know, it on a, on a reasonably sharp, large monitor, you should be able to see the the easy line on on the uh, ships over there, and and just enough to give it the illusion of rigging. It doesn't have to be like a uh, <clears throat> you know a wooden sailing ship or something like that that you want that you want every little bit of rigging and every little block and tackle and you know you 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 want all that kind of stuff. On this, I don't know. I just want it to look. Yeah, believable, which I believe those ones over there are. I think they look pretty good, but that's just my opinion. Somebody else might might like it look like uh, uh, you know a, a bunch of spiders had sprung uh, strung a bunch of webs on it, you know. But uh, that's not what I want. Uh, anyway, got it. At least uh, two or three comments. People wishing me good luck on my e-bike ride or on my bike ride yesterday well i didn't go out on the scooter i went out on the e-bike i thought i'm gonna take the e-bike out for a spin it's, you know the sun had come out and i checked the radar and i could see that there was a uh you know a large heavy cell moving just south of winnipeg over the south part of winnipeg but what was coming into the north part where i live and I'm going to be, was going to be biking further north. It looked like it was going to be okay. So I, I, it was a little bit cool. So I put on my jacket and I put on my yellow safety shirt and my red helmet. And uh, off I go on my e-bike. And uh, I'm, I'm going, going north and uh, the sun is shining and feels nice and warm and cozy and everything's fine. And I get out to the far end of the run there, I guess it'd be, uh, well, it's out near Bird's Hill, and uh, turning around there at uh, Hodnot Road, and uh, <clears throat> not that you care, and uh, just about the time I get there, I notice that the sun has gone behind a cloud, so I'm not thinking too much about it, until I turn around and face back towards Winnipeg here, and, you know, what's this, Ray, just right above me almost it seemed and the, this terrible cell had formed w when my back was turned you might say and and i could see way off in the distance and the other sort of on the other side of winnipeg you could see the streaks of rain coming down and then i, I think well what are we going to do here and as i'm as i'm turning around and coming back i notice that there's quite a change in the temperature of the wind it's it's gotten pretty cold not not real cold. It's not going to snow, <laughs> no, but you, you could feel it. And there was a change, and this, and I thought, oh my goodness! And the clouds where you could just see them slowly, you know, 
doing their doing their thing and and it's and I could tell that it was coming towards me not off to the side and I was quite concerned I'll tell you so you might remember that I've been saying that I've been running my e-bike in level one of five well I've, I've had a week now on the scooter of going like on my e-bike I go, I usually stick right around 20 kilometers an hour. That's nice, comfortable speed. It's fast enough that you can stay balanced easy, and yet it's slow enough that you can stop quick if you want to, and uh, you can enjoy the the ride. So anyway, uh, and, and that's the way I'd gone out there, 20 kilometers an hour. And so I thought, oh my goodness, I, I'm going to end up getting soaked here. And... <laughs> So I stuck it in level five and went as fast as I could go all the way back. Uh, and <laughs> you know, there's uh, speed really kills batteries on those e-bikes. And I noticed that when I got back here, the the uh, battery level meter had gone down a little. <laughs> anyway, I got back before it rained, and I don't know if it actually did rain. I I might have been okay. But it was, uh, I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to, I'm going to be sure the weather's good before I'm going to go out. Uh, I know some people, they'll, they'll carry a rain paraphernalia along with them, but just in case, but, uh, I, I didn't have that and I'm probably not going to start carrying it. I'm just going to watch the weather better before I get going. Now, I think I've said enough here before I get going with what I'm going to do. Uh, <clears throat> Um, our, our sunrise this morning was, was really hazy. I, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just tack it at the, at the end of today's episode. Uh, I, yeah, let, let, I'm just going to just push stop here and, and get going. And then, and the next time I see you, I'll, I'll probably be doing a ladder or something. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a short episode today. Okay, we have done really well here this morning. Uh, all the photo etch for step 44 is on except for one ladder. Yeah, I just methodically went through it one after the other and they're stuck on. Uh, got to, got to uh, touch up with the 77 where the bottom rails are though yet. Try and get rid of some of the photo, the uh, CA glinting. But uh, it seems to me that earlier this morning I had said, well, video, the last ladder being put on or something to that effect. So I guess that's what we should do here. And it has to go right here. So we'll recompose. I don't think I'll put the macro lens on. I'll, I'll just move in as close as I can, and we should be able to see it. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, recompose. Now, I'm going to try and do it basically the same way I did the other five. This may go good, or it may not. I did not glue the the bottom of the stringers onto the deck. I All I did was just fasten it just right on the top platform there. Just try and get that to hook, hook in the right place. I think it has to go, let me see here, just goes in just a little bit more. That is pretty much it. Now I think it I could drop down just a tiny bit. I think. Let me check the monitor. How's that look? Well, that's going to have to do. Okay. Now we're going to put a little bit of CA right on the top there. Now we're going to be painting this over with the 77. I 
think. No, I haven't got it on this on this side yet. Let me let's look down here. Um, I think the whole thing is to go in a little bit more like that. I got two things of glue here, thick and, and thin, and I grabbed the thick. There, now I think I'm getting it. I want to get that top tread glued against the edge of the platform. At least that's what I'm hoping is happening. Okay, now get a little bit of uh, curing agent. I have triple checked step 44. Well, I've checked more than three times actually. And we have all the photo etch pieces for 44 on. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't, in a way, I sort of didn't think that was going to happen today, but it, it did. 45. Okay. Looks like 45 wants us to drop our module down onto the main deck. Um, I don't know, is there anything I should be doing here before we do that? Well, that's going to be tomorrow anyway, because I, I want to take advantage of the fact that the sun is still shining. Now, I haven't checked the radar to see, you know, how, if we got any thunderstorms moving in again like yesterday. But, uh, Anyway, that's the plan. Oh, I did fill the bird feeder this morning. It was uh, getting kind of low. Um, all right, I, I'm, I'm going to call her quits for today, folks. Not much of an episode. Sorry about that. They can't all be long. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow in Step 45. Now our sunrise this morning. Well, it's uh, pretty hazy as I mentioned. Nothing spectacular. But at least it's better than the nothing we had yesterday morning. It is what it is. At least we got to see it.